Yeah, so I see. There isn't a new beginning, but I see a relationship, like a really good emotional relationship. There's a time for introspection, a time for solitude. This is your energy. This is a Virgo energy. This is the hermit in the upright. All right, so there's a relationship here and you're taking some time out from it. I see you taking time out from a relationship. And then we have the two of cups in the reverse again. So it came in the upright telling me it's a relationship and then it came in the, in the reverse saying that there's a breakup here. And then we have Libra energy. So it could be talking about during the time of Libra and there's a cut in communication. There's a blocking and there's a, like an enforced period of rest and relaxation. So that's how the month ends. So it begins with ancestors. It begins with family members and lessons that you've learned. Whenever I think of ancestors, I think of lessons that I've learned. So there's lessons that you've learned and you have a choice and I see you leaving the past behind you and I see you moving on towards a more positive attitude and then I see you releasing burdens you have the ability to manifest and you're going with the flow and you're in your element and I see you releasing and you're not fighting anymore you put your defenses down and I see a brand new adventure, a brand new passionate beginning where you're learning. But then there's a cut in communication. There's a block in travel. I don't see any new communication. So there's a block, there's no new communication. This new energetic beginning turns around and goes on its head and I see a breakup and a period of introspection. Venus is the planet that rules relationships and Venus is about to go retrograde and whenever Venus goes retrograde we have we have a period where We have a period where relationships can be a little bit more challenging. And I see that's what's happening. It could be with a Libra or another Virgo or a Leo. I'm seeing Leo here. Sorry, my screen just yeah, it's still taping. <laughs> it just popped, like something popped up and I didn't know if it was taping or not. Okay, so yeah, I see Libra, or Leo, Virgo, Libra. Real strong here. It begins with Cancer energy. It begins with somebody who's very maternal, motherly, family-oriented. And then there's conflict. There's massive conflict and this is presently happening, but it's ending. This conflict is ending and you're coming out of conflict. Yeah, there's conflict and you're coming out of conflict and then there's a cut in, in communication. You just don't wanna deal with it anymore. You don't wanna deal with this, this argument arguing anymore so there's just a, a block in communication and it leads to a failed relationship a period of introspection and things rebalancing regrouping everything's fair in the end it ends on a fair note and i see 
beauty, sexuality. Hey Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, yeah. A, a new story just came out. Wait, this is too long. This is like a whole year. So this is Earth energy. There's two major life events. Actually, it ends here. I'm going to end it here. Because it ends with the world in the reverse. So your world's turned upside down. So I have the Empress reversed. So there's a lack of growth. Uh, things aren't progressing. There could be a miscarriage. Or a failed relationship. We have your energy Virgo. We have the Hermit. And it's taking time out, introspecting. We have the King of Pentacles, which is your energy as well. You have the Midas touch. Anything you touch turns to gold. It's very practical down to earth. It could be your health improving because of this time by yourself. I have the Three of Cups, so this could be an affair. It's in the reverse. There could be an affair. I see your world being turned upside down, but then it comes up right because I have the world twice because I'm using two different decks and they came side by side. One is in the reverse and one is in the upright. So I see your world being turned upside down, but it's for the better good. It's for the greater good. You completed a journey. You've graduated. The world is like your kindergarten kid. As, as the fool and you go through the major arcana and you end with the world, you've graduated high school, you've graduated this lesson, you've learned your lesson. You feel like the world's turned upside down, but really you've learned your lesson and you're able to progress to something better. I know you're a Virgo and you hate change, but this is bringing in change. Your earth, earth doesn't like to move. Earth stays stagnant. Um, but this is bringing in change and it's bringing in growth and it's good. This is a good change. Um, and if it's not, if we're not talking about a relationship here and we're talking about a job, there's a third party being introduced into your workforce that makes you feel like your world has been turned upside down. But it's really a good thing and it's bringing a completion. Hey Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. I can't find my mouse.